What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Namal and I just successfully transitioned from first year engineering to computer engineering. And today I would just like to reflect on my freshman year since a lot has happened. More specifically, I would like to reflect on my performance as an FYE student, some of the classes I took, and just the overall experience I had. I also value your guys' time, so I'll be posting appropriate timestamps in the description below. So as you all may know, Purdue is ranked really high for engineering and it has a lot of rigor and with so much rigor comes this common question being asked by so many incoming freshmen, including myself. Are there weed out courses? And the answer to that is yes and no. I would say yes because if you're not prepared for the specific wor workload for some of these courses, you can easily fall behind and miss the key concepts. However, I also say no because if you have a strong work ethic and are able to get on top of things and learn the content diligently, then passing FYE should be no difficulty for you. In addition, I've noticed that many people were actually keen on staying in the College of Engineering and ended up actually going to their respective majors. So overall, there's a pretty higher uh, retention rate for the most part. Next, I'll be talking about the specific classes I took both fall and spring semesters and just my various opinions on them, just to give you an idea of how the classes are like. So to put things into perspective, I had incoming AP credit for Calc 1 and 2, so I didn't have to take Calc 1 and 2 at Purdue, but I did take a total of 13 credits for the fall semester. Now with 13 credits, it was actually pretty basic since it was near the minimum, and the minimum to be a student is actually 12 credits. So um, even though I had 13 credits, most of the classes I was taking were pretty intensive nonetheless. For example, with Chem 115, it was a basic chemistry course. You had your titrations, you had your specific labs, and it was a quarter of what you would learn in an AP Chem course, because AP Chem at Purdue is actually two semesters. So uh, whenever I took uh, Chem 115, I had AP Chem in high school, and some of the concepts were familiar and others were kind of new to me, but I was able to pick it up nonetheless, and it was not too bad of a course. So with the introductory engineering course or engineering 131, we basically used Excel the entire semester. So uh, I, that's a skill I have on my resume right now. I now can say I can work in Excel to an extent. And we learned things like descriptive statistics, uh, weighted decision matrix, and other engineering principles that are pretty important in the industry. And for our final semester project, we were tasked to improve campus mobility safety. So we had to use all the principles we learned and such as like writing a technical brief, creating a weighted decision matrix and actually churning out data, which was a good majority of the class. It was basically manipulating numbers on Excel and basically churning out data to gain results. So with MA261, uh, it gave me a first taste of Purdue math and Purdue math, if you haven't heard of it, is actually pretty rigorous in the exams they give, but they also have ridiculous curves. Like I, I'm pretty sure I had like 75% cumulative in the course, but I ended up with a B. That, um, I mean, that's how crazy it is. But with Calc 3, uh, it was basically your normal differentiation integration in three dimensions. And the hardest part in that course was basically just visualizing but the math is not too difficult in terms of calculations. And last but not the least is SELA 101. I actually enjoyed this course with an awesome professor. He was super engaging and we had really deep discussions and sometimes we had heated arguments, but it was a great experience nonetheless. So this course was basically about how human thinking evolved over time. So we read texts like Plato's Apology, uh, Descartes' Meditation, and Sartre's Existentialism. I forget the name of the book, but I'll put it somewhere up here. But 
Nonetheless, this course was actually really useful for me because it gave me a nice break from my STEM courses and it's also very refreshing just to see how human thinking evolved over time and I'm actually really interested in those kinds of things and I would like to take a course like that in the near future if my schedule allows. <laughs> so all in all, fall 2020 was a great start to my freshman year. I really enjoyed the courses and I couldn't wait to do more regarding my major and I just wanted to do more. And then spring 2020 came along. So with spring 2020, I was still taking 13 credits because I, I guess I didn't want to be overworked. <laughs> but uh, I was still meeting the next half of the FYE requirements, which I'll mention in a minute. But with this whole lockdown situation, uh, the outcomes of those courses were really interesting to say the least. So the first class I want to talk about is Engineering 132. This is basically the second semester of your introductory engineering course and in this course you learn MATLAB which I actually grew to love and use. So with MATLAB you learn the basics of programming like your selection structure so your if statements and the repetition so your classic for loops and while loops. I don't know if they have do while loops. Who knows, they might. And we learn through doing various projects and for our final project we were tasked with creating an algorithm that can determine the pricing of an enzyme based on its performance and yeah that was actually a cool project i personally liked it and i also had an amazing team and in terms of like its transition to online classes this was probably one of the better ones i had experienced to say the least i would have zoom meetings on wednesdays and fridays and my team would just meet up on the zoom lecture and just start convening just start working from there we just worked until the gta kicked us out but nonetheless we still got a lot of work done a lot of good work done and i actually ended up doing well in this class and i'm going to be TAing it next semester if we ever go back and the second course I want to talk about is the Epics 101 course. This was the same course that allowed me to, to learn web programming and learn the Django framework. So I was placed into a team called DISC. It stands for Database Inclusion. I'll just put it somewhere, but I was part of Team Hope and it stands for Housing Opportunities Providing Empowerment. And we were basically tasked with creating an alert system that lets caseworkers know if homeless victims were either arrested or released from jail. So it was actually a pretty important project nonetheless. And throughout working in a team setting, uh, I had awesome team members and I was able to develop my soft skills as an engineering team member and also learn the art of self-teaching. Being a self-teacher is super important in the industry and just being in this team really put that into perspective. And I learned so many things like Django framework, the CS CSS properties, all of which I could use in the future in my career, but I would like to learn more about it nonetheless. In terms of its transition to online classes, this was also one of the better ones since we had weekly meetings online. It we had a web conferencing software that just let us talk and uh, interact and my team met on TeamViewer and we were able to get things done that way too. So after passing uh, MA261, which is Calc 3, I was supposed to take a linear algebra course. So I took MA265, which is the regular one. There is a proof-based one. It's called elementary linear algebra, but I just opted to take regular. And um, linear algebra isn't really my favorite subject at all. I don't know if it's because it's theoretical or if it's very abstract, but um, I didn't really have a good experience with this course. And by the time we got to eigenvectors, I actually liked it somewhat because it was super concrete. I didn't have to learn a bunch of theorems and you just have to follow a concrete set of procedures. But in terms of uh, it, the transition to online classes, it's okay. I mean, the instructor or the professor gave us emails somewhat frequently, but uh, we still had weekly lectures recorded online. So the next course I wanna talk about is CS159. In this course, you learn the language of C and you learn it in a similar fashion to MATLAB and Engineering 132. But the main difference in this course is the exams are weighted heavily and your grade, your performance in the class 
solely depends on how well you do on the exams and the questions can be a little convoluted sometimes and it can be hard to follow but if you are good at tracing code efficiently and quickly and exactly figure out what to do or what the output is then this should be no problem for you but however this course was somewhat challenging for me because i'm a person that has to look at a code segment for a while and then figures out like what the end result will be rather than give me five seconds i can figure this out like that's like a totally different mindset and finally i'll talk about physics 172. in the beginning physics 172 was like a normal mechanics course like one you would expect from ap physics c however this course doesn't really focus too much on calculus just only the principles the transition to online classes for this one was also good because uh we were notified every week on what to do and like what homework labs and recitation assignments we were supposed to do so in terms of that they were actually really really good but the downside was they made the exams very difficult uh, i would like to tell you a story so when we had our second exam we were preparing to take it online however during the exam they had like so much so much internal error that they somehow ended up releasing the answer key to one section so they gave us all 100s for the exam which is like a dream come true for any college student however to compensate for that 100% they gave to everybody, they made exam three and the final exams really, really difficult to the point where like, you have to like know what you're doing to even get a good grade on it. Although I did pass all of my classes the second semester and transitioned into my respective major, spring 2020 was an indicator to me that if we were going to do this in the near future which is online classes and i'm certain we are then i'm going to have to approach this really different and this was just like a wake-up call for me to reevaluate my study habits reevaluate how i approach things and just step back and have a different approach all right so now i want to transition into social life at purdue while i was on campus so when it came to social life, it was actually pretty easy to do from class to class because of one thing. So there's like this dynamic at Purdue where if you take harder classes, the people around you just like become united and like help each other out. And like, it's like this unique dynamic that is really neat. And I happened to make friends this way through like my math and engineering classes. And we easily became like study buddies and like prepare for our tests, work on projects, things like that. So in terms of that, it's really useful when it comes to networking and just getting to know someone. And apart from academics, uh, it's just really nice to like have dinner with a group of friends or just a friend and talk about various things like how rhythm games work or what's the best computer hardware. I know those are two randomly different things, but I'm just giving you an example. Honestly, if I were to do an a very honest recap of my freshman year. I have to say it went pretty well. Um, I got into my respective major, which is very important. Um, also a side note, if you're ever interested in going to ECE, you don't really have to worry about the GPA requirements. Like they literally said, if you have a 2.0, we'll let you in, but don't like underestimate yourself, like actually do well in your uh, first year because uh, you want to keep that momentum going and that's very important when it comes to intense majors like ECE. And in addition, I think Purdue taught me a lot of things in terms of how to approach courses and just how to meet people. With having a rigor like Purdue Engineering, it can be a little overwhelming sometimes, sometimes even intimidating, but don't be like Purdue is not a cutthroat environment like any other school. People are actually pretty approachable with whenever it comes to help. Like I know I went to like office hours a lot and the TAs were actually pretty friendly. So if you want to continue this discussion of college related info, I just created a Discord server for that purpose, which you can join. I have it in the description below. And if you found this video helpful, valuable, or anything in between, please feel free to like, share, share to a friend, and subscribe. And make sure to hit that bell notification button so you don't miss anything. I will be cranking out videos in the near future now that I have a lot of time on my hands. Until next time, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.